In today's video, we'll be looking at the Anytone AT2A8 handheld transceiver. Now, we usually look at VHF and UHF handhelds on the channel, and by VHF, I mean usually 2 meters, but this one is low band VHF. More importantly, it covers the 4 meter amateur band. So, we'll have a look at the radio itself and then take it out to some local high ground and give it a test on the local 4 meter net. Now, 4 meters is quite active lately around the Greater Manchester area as well as Staffordshire and Cheshire, so I'm quite confident we'll make a contact or two. So, this is the radio out of the box. As you can see, it's quite small and compact. It comes with a charger base and power supply, 1500 mAh battery and a belt clip. You'll also notice the helical rubber duck antenna. Now, at these frequencies, helical antennas such as these don't tend to be that effective, like the rubber duck antennas that come with CB handhelds, and that is okay. It's not a negative, it's just that lower frequency radios like this operate better through larger mag mount antennas or base station antennas. The radio transmits between 66 and 88 megahertz in FM only. Either way, when I go up Werneth Low, we'll test both the supplied rubber duck antenna and the mag mount antenna on the car. Looking at the handset itself, it has a small LCD screen on the front and a numerical keypad. On the left is the rubberized PTT, flashlight button and monitor button which is handy for hearing faint and distant signals, and these two buttons can be programmed. On the right is the speaker jack and programming cable jack, and on the top is the flashlight, LED indicator and volume and on and off knob. The battery clips onto the back of the radio and the belt clip screws in place on the battery. If we switch the radio on, you can see there are two VFOs, the top is low band VHF and the bottom is FM broadcast. There is a dual band version of this radio and on that handset the bottom VFO allows you to transmit and this is the 2 meter and 70 centimeter version. The A button is the function toggle switch and each number carries its own setting. Pressing A and 8 allows you to access the settings menu which holds 14 different parameters. Now you'll notice there wasn't a lot of menu options in there, but after consulting the manual I realised that pressing the bottom function button and PTT whilst turning the radio on allows you to enter another 18 option menu. The radio has three power settings, half a watt on low, two watts on medium and four watts on high. So as you can see operation is really simple direct from the keypad, but if required the radio can also be programmed via computer and programming cable. So now we'll head out to Werneth Low and see if we can make a contact on this radio both using the helical antenna and mag mount antenna. Hello CQ, hello CQ, hello CQ on 4 metres, this is M3HHY Mobile, calling CQ on 4, and standing by for any calls, Mike 3, Hotel, Hotel Yankee Mobile. Roger, good afternoon Liz, do you want a QSY 475? Yep, 475, catch you there. This is frequency news please, this is Mike 7, Mike Victor Foxtrot. Nothing heard, M3HHY, M7 MBF, good afternoon Lewis. Yep, good afternoon Paul, hope you're okay. I was beginning to think there was something wrong. I was uh, I was calling out and there was uh, there was no one around. Uh, I did hear you call early and I came back to you, but I um I don't know if you heard me, but I've just moved locations anyway, so I'm a little bit further down the lane uh with decent line of sight to you now. So I wonder how you're receiving me. I'm on the Magmount antenna at the moment. Um I've not not tried on the rubber duck yet. From M7 MBF fine Lewis. Yeah, good signal. Uh probably five eight, five nine, something like that. Uh, no problem at all. Um, no problem. I did call uh, uh, earlier. I called. I was pr from about eleven thirty. I was working John on the usual uh, net uh, channel and um, you know keeping an ear open. And uh, I you know, called you a couple of times, but didn't hear anything. But you're a fine signal network. But... I'm on the Anytone A two A eight. I nearly, nearly forgot the model number. Then yeah, the Anytone A. T Alpha Tango 2A8. It's uh, from Moonraker. This one. It's a nice little handheld. Seems to be doing okay. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll pass it back to you for another one, and um, then I'll switch to the rubber duck if you've got a minute, and we'll see uh, see if that works. From um, 7MBF, uh, 
but yeah, I tell you what, Lewis, it certainly sounds nice. Um, it's uh, it's quite punchy uh, audio. Um, there's no great bass to it, but um, but it's very punchy. It sounds very nice indeed. And um, yes, yeah, they're certainly doing well on the mag mount. I think the problem with these things tends to be the uh, the rubber duck, doesn't it? They're just not uh, not up to it. I believe they uh, they tend to receive fairly well. Um, but uh, but not too not too uh, clever for transmitting over any great distances. M7 MVF. Okay, Paul. M7 MVF M3 HHY. I wonder if you're receiving. M7 MVF M3 HHY mobile. Okay, though, I've just climbed out the car. I was in the car at first, obviously, which which wasn't ideal, but it is raining. Um, so I'm stood a little bit higher up now, so you should be able to um, hear my signal a little bit better there. Uh, now, Paul, now I'm stood up. Apologies if you can hear wind noise uh, in the background as well. Back to you. Yeah, I lost you that time, Lewis, I'm afraid. Perhaps it must have been the angle of the, uh, the antenna, but you went down into the noise. Yeah, okay, no worries. I'll just switch position. I'm just turning round now. Um, I'll just change the angle of the antenna a little bit. I'm not sure if you can hear me. If you can, I'll switch back onto the mag mount. No, sorry, Liz. I've, um, I've turned the squelch off and um, you're very much in the noise. It's not really workable. Um... Okay, Paul, back on the, uh, on the mag mount now. Yeah, this is the thing. Um, to HHY returning for ID. Yeah, I wasn't expecting. Uh, I wasn't expecting it to work. Um, to be to be fair, Paul. Paul obviously, it's the better over over short distances. And like you said, on the receive side of things, I was receiving you fine. Um, but yeah, for transmit, you, you can't really expect much from uh, from rubber ducks at these frequencies. Uh, it's like the uh, same with the the Charlie Bravo handheld. So um, yeah, that's why I brought the mag mount up with me today. Um. Mike 3, Hotel, Hotel Yankee, calling CQ on 4, calling CQ on 4 metres and standing by for any calls, M3, HHY Mobile, Werner Flow. Mike 3, Hotel, Hotel Yankee Mobile, was there a station there? I heard a click of the mic, M3, HHY Mobile, listening on 4 metres. Golf 1, Bravo, Quebec, Quebec, Mike 3, Hotel, Hotel Yankee, QRZ. Uh, please, QE1, Nothing here this side. Yep, yeah, okay Paul, 2E1HZY, M3HHY, mobile returning. Very good afternoon, hope you're okay. You're the second contact this afternoon, which is good. I'm just testing out a handheld, um, just using the uh, the mag mount on the car. I tried with a, uh, another friend just on the uh, on the rubber duck, but they're not, not as effective at these frequencies, obviously. But yeah, you're coming through 5 and 9, no problem at all. So Werner Flow, back to you. Yeah, great stuff, Paul. Well, it's nice to uh, get you in the log for the first time. I need to. Uh, I've lost my pen actually. I need to need to write you down in the log. It's two two one eight. Said I'll remember it anyway. 
But yeah, this is the uh, first time out with this little radio, and it seems to be doing seems to be doing the trick. Um, did you say you're on an any tone as well, Paul? Back to you. Yeah, I'm on the uh, 588 Circle Mobile uh, Tart Radio. We've asked a couple years for you now, but it's no. Yeah, great stuff, no worries at all. I'm just using a quarter wave whip on a mag mount on the roof of the car. Like I said, I've got the uh, the little helical with me, but it's um, sort of not really not really suitable for longer ranges, as you'd expect. But okay, Paul. Well, I'm going to say seven three. Um, but cheers for coming back to the call. I really appreciate it. I'm just going to have a listen round for another couple of minutes and then call it a day. But uh, yeah, great to speak to you for the first time. Anyway, two e one h z y m three h h y. Name's Lewis, uh, by the way. I don't think I said at the start. Uh, seven three for now. Have a good afternoon. We'll catch you again. Okay, so some quite good results there. Firstly, with Paul near the Trafford Centre, approximately 13 miles away. And then we had the other Paul in Wigan, around 26 miles away. Granted, both contacts were on the quarter wave whip on the roof, but as I said earlier in the video, I wasn't expecting anything from the supplied antenna because rubber ducks at these frequencies just aren't that effective. I also monitored my CQ call on the Hat Green SDR, which is 35 miles away to the south. Hello CQ, hello CQ, hello CQ on 4 metres, this is Mike 3, Hotel, Hotel Yankee Mobile, Mike 3, Hotel, Hotel Yankee Mobile, calling CQ on 4, and standing by for any calls, M3, HHY, Werner Flow. Hello CQ, hello CQ, hello CQ on 4 metres, this is Mike 3, Hotel, Hotel Yankee Mobile, calling CQ on 4, calling CQ on 4 metres. And finally, here's a clip of the RSGB news broadcast from John G0NAJ in Duckingfield, approximately four miles away. Um, well, I think for Wales, we should be within range of this transmission. The North Wales Radio Society has a programme discussion on Thursday. For more details from the contact, who is Liz, North Whiskey Zero Echo Tango Uniform. 076-019-0355. So, I hope you enjoyed this look at the Anytone AT288, a cracking 4 meter radio which I'm looking forward to making plenty of contacts with this summer. If you'd like to try 4 meters and get hold of one of these, I'll link the Moonraker UK page in the description below.